going on you custers we're back with the bullshit already you already know um it's raining outside so we're gonna be inside today um i did kind of have some plans when i went to breakfast this morning i was like man i'm gonna i'm gonna go out and do some things outside and so be it sky daddy's like nah today we're gonna kick, kick back at the crib not a big deal not a big problem um, but we're going to jump into, right now, um, a proving ground match in WWE 2K23. It's going to be Eve Torres versus Queen Zelina in a ladder match. Oh shit, it's coming down pretty good, huh? Well, goddamn. We're going to have to put the raincoat on the husky, huh? We got a raincoat for the baby. I don't know if you can hear it, like, pattering against the window, but... If it doesn't cool down in the next hour or so, I'm gonna have to slap the raincoat on her and we're gonna have to do our thing. But that's what we got it for, so she can um, do that. All right, all right, I'm not, so I need to get 90 points. A quick story, real quick, about this shirt I'm wearing. I used to not wear it very much because this one fuck it, it only takes one person to ruin shit for me and it was this one fucking dickhead i remember i was working at the gas station um at the exxon in dardanelle and uh i went in wearing the shirt one day and this fucking i don't know if he was autistic or like just being a dick or whatever but he looks at me kind of stupid and he looks at my shirt and he's like he reads it slow he's like i wrestled a bear one and he looks at me, he's like, no, you didn't. And I was like, what? He's like, you never wrestled a bear. And I was like, it, n not me personally. It's a fucking band, brother. Like, what? A really good band at that. Like, what? And it's kind of an old shirt. You can see there's like some, my stupid ass, when I used to smoke blunts all the time, and I get like resin on my lips after hitting the blunt, I'd be like, I'd do that, wipe it on my shirt, and now there's like resin stains on it. But, it fits me a little better than it used to. I might cut the sleeves off of it. Cause so I try not to wear the same shit all the time. I know, you, you see that and you're like, oh, that's dirty, but I just, that's what, that's what I'm saying. It's like a resin stain. It's like worse on the inside. Cause I used to not give a fuck. I just be like, oh, it'll come off. Wipe my resiny lips and then, shit's disgusting. I had to, I've ruined so many shirts doing that shit. Just like, all right, back to the match. I can talk and do that. Oh my God. Queen Zelina fired off right away off me. Eve Torres, Eve Torres, going away with some boots right here to Queen Zelina, firing off in the gate here. Queen Zelina rolls through. Will Barrel. Uh, I forgot what that's called. I'm gonna try to do some commentary and shit, but as I'm playing and shit, obviously um, my focus isn't gonna be where it should be. I'm gonna do my best to like commentate and play the game and shit. I can't even hear that. That rain is like coming down, y'all. We gotta turn this shit up. Hold up. All right. So late, Queen Zelina is going for the briefcase early in the match. Eve Torres pushes the ladder out of the way. Power bomb. I am the best play-by-play -play man in the business. Oh, Eve Torres threw her shins out. Taking one for the team to take Selena out. Come on, ho. You don't hear me call them like hoes and shit. Like, I don't mean it like in a district. It's just a name. Just a name. Oh, drop kick failed, landed on the ladder. E Torres followed up by a clothesline. Queen Zelina laid out on the ladder. What's gonna happen here, folks? E Torres battling out of the grip of Queen Zelina. Eve with the vicious forearm to the face, followed up by a kick. Uh oh, a chop. Zinc. 
Oh, she moved. Dude, it sounds like somebody's taking a fucking water hose and like spraying my shit. Like, whoa. Sky Daddy, chill, bro. E. Torres with a scoop slam to Selena Vega, followed up by an impressive knee to the sternum. Forearm. It's Queen Selena from the springboard. Moonsault taking E. Torres down. Being a one-man commentary team is hard, bitch. So shut your ass up. All right. All right. So you ain't gonna you ain't gonna miss my signature this time, ho, or my finisher. We will get you at the finisher first. With this like spinning thing here. Oh, shake that ass, bitch! Doing a little twerk as her taunt. Like, you do you, baby. Nobody hating on you, baby. That rain is crazy, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, dude, come on. Uh, she's gonna get me, I bet. Oh, psych, bitch, you dumb hoe. Alright, E. Torres. What is she going for off the ladder? Oh my. No! Selena pushed her off. Reverse. Reverse. No, we're not. Bitch. Uh uh. I'm not jobbing out to you in this ladder match, Selena. I love you, baby, but no. Fuck on out of here. Oh damn, I still need to do. Oh. Okay, well. Can't really win the match yet because I don't have the full points. Ah! And Con Rana. And I might actually do the towers. I say I was like, oh, I don't want to do the towers. I might actually do them. Just to fucking get them out of the way. Because I'm still like three weeks behind. And that's. If I had like power through all that, that's a lot of rewards. Points and cards and shit. It's like a big level up. So. No, bitch. Oh, shake that ass! The, tw <laughs> the twerk into the moonsault. Ain't what a what a move. My my stiff complaint. I still have this complaint. Like for some reason, in ladder matches in 2K23, if you're not. Like if the ladder gets to a certain point in the ring, you just you just might as well give up because you're not gonna get the damn thing. You're not gonna, bitch. All right. Oh. Oh. Corey Graves. <laughs> This might be the end of it. Let's get her with this finisher here. Dump her right on her fucking dome piece. I, the ladder may not be in the perfect spot, but... Let's get this over with. I thought she was going to knock me off the ladder. But we got it. We got it, huh, baby? 
I know. I still gotta give you some of that bagel. That's probably why you're in here. You're sitting by the box. I know. We just witnessed what could one day be called one of the greatest ladder matches of all time. It'll never be called the greatest ladder match of all time, Michael Cole. It came to fruition. It just ain't gonna happen like that, my boy. We got a we got a pack there actually. Steel cage, two on two, extreme mills. That might be a fun one too. But I'm gonna actually go back to the music tower. I hope that Iron Man match is like not long. Cause I'll do it, but I don't wanna I don't wanna fucking spend all day doing it. Alright, Nathan Fraser in the Ooh so baby. I'm gonna take on the team of Finn Balor The Hurricane and Scott Hall, Chico. And you already know the business. When I jump in these six-man or eight-man tags, I'm just going to put the beat down on everybody, get my increments up with all three characters, by doing, like, most of the moves and taunts and all that, getting the points or whatever, what have you. Get your bitch ass in the ring, kid. Get your bitch ass in the ring, kid. Don't, no, don't come after my brother now. Alright, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna, no, 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 no. Finn trying to jump my boy, too. No, fuck out of here. Super kick! Boy, I beat your ass. Knock the green out your hair, boy. Don't fucking play with me. Samoa drop on the floor to the hurricane. You want some more? Bam! Super kick taking out Finn Balor. Cocksucker. Alright. Super Oh no! Hurricane caught the super kick. Insecurity! Insecurity! Alright, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna fly through this match. Ten count. Count to ten, bitch! 10, 10, 10. Thank you. Match is over. A win's a win, ho. Whether, whether it's a quarter inch or a quarter mile. So, crank my shit. You don't have to like it. That's the way of life. Yeah. My God, look at this precious little husky. She wants what's in that to-go box so bad. And she's gonna sit there and she's gonna lay right there and make sure that nothing happens to that to-go box until she gets something out of it. Huh, ain't that right, baby? All right, sick. So, who do I wanna take Natalia on in the Iron Woman match? Cause I don't wanna have to get like 90 for the increment, so I need a one that I can Yes, guy. And then I was gonna be Eve Torres again, but I was like, I'm trying to diversify my shit. I'm trying not to like make the same shit over and over and over, you know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel self conscious. Put your paw back in your mouth. Oh, it's ten minutes. I need shit. Think, because sometimes they're like twenty minutes. Even fifteen is kind of like a. Mm, Womp, womp, womp. But in 10 minutes, I can get my increments up and slap the dog shit out of Natalia. So. Alright, 
And then this bitch had to do a circle. So I got the sunset flip roll up. The referee's here. And instead of dropping down right there, she could see the shoulders right there. Instead of dropping down, she runs around the side of us. And that takes... That, that female referee, when they put her in my matches, she's always, always fucking shifing my shit. She's always trying to fucking jew me out of my matches and count me slow. Like, I don't know what the fuck going on with that shit. But she better figure that out because I'll smack her ass around too like I'm slapping around Natalia. Oh my god. Or like Natalia slapping around me. Shit. She's already... Okay. 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 Yo Sky's not the one. I'm already getting my ass kicked. She already had her finisher. I don't even know how that fucking happened. She already had her finisher at, and a signature. So she was like fucking putting the dog dog shit whoop to me so let's change all the fire's a good card but uh now y'all seen the ass whooping with zoe stark that's probably gonna be the card Ooh, wrong i forgot about this card blair davenport now that girl she throws some hands, baby. Actually, before we do that, I would like to see if she has any... Nope, she don't. Any side plates. And those are just little boosts um to help the character um different uh i don't know textures of the card i guess because sapphire whatever ruby and all that shit different diamonds whatever like the better the card the more options you can select is what i'm trying to say um heavy-handed i'm gonna do that one and always moving Cause I got a whole bunch of these and I never I'm gonna just put some on here too just to get rid of a couple there's so many of them I'm not gonna count them all right now but it's a lot I have some I have bronze gold silver right. look at that I'm just uh, selecting putting some on these characters right now because I have so fucking many and I do need to get rid of them because they just pile up. They literally just fucking pile up. So it's not not a big deal. It doesn't really it doesn't matter too much. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna jump <coughs> jump back into this Iron Woman match. It's gonna be Natalia versus Blair Davenport. 10 minutes on the clock. Okay. I'm going to smack the bitch around the ring. Left and right. You five me. And again, no disrespect. I love Natalia to you. She's done a lot for the women's division. She doesn't get the credit. She really doesn't get the credit she deserves, honestly. A lot of times, I feel like. But a lot of people hate on her and shit. <clears throat> and I think it's because, like, she's so... Um, Cause she, I want to say universal, but that's not really, <clears throat> that's not really the word I'm trying to say. Steady and like, I don't think she's really like she's been on, she's been around forever, you know. And I don't feel like she's ever had like super major injuries where she was off more than a few months at a time. Oh, roll through. All right, so yeah, we're definitely doing better with Blair than we were and with the other character. Because by this time in the match with Io last time, Natalia already had me fucking on the ground and uh, about put me in a finisher. Zink. All right, let's see if we can get the first ball here. One, two. Fine. Zink. Stay. You gotta stay on top of the op, baby. Oh. 
Picks her by her skull and slams her into the mat twice. Oh, a third time. My God, she could have a concussion there, folks. Natalia's trying to roll out of the ring to regain herself. Blair Davenport mocking her from the inside of the ring. Bitch. Oh. Natty, you bitch. Y'all remember Sable's fucking infamous promo against Jackie? I love that shit. It was supposed to be serious, and it... It was, and, like, it's just the moment, man. It just made me laugh. It was so hilarious. Well, she's all up there. She's serious as fuck. She's got the mic. Jackie! You bitch! <laughs> and you know how Sable's voice is, like, it... She's got, a, she's got like a, she's not, she doesn't have a very intimidating voice, right, so, and then Jerry, you know, Jerry Lawler is, oh, his little, his fucking little squawk thing he does, he fucking cracks me up, man. That's kind of, like, the people that are, like, that always got some shit to say about wrestling that, oh, it's fake, and like, oh, that's stupid, like, hey, duh, we all know it's fucking fake, retard. It's just like, you watch Spider-Man and shit, y'all don't think fucking Spider-Man gonna jump out of the sky and save your ass from getting fucking robbed and shit, do you? No. Most, some of y'all probably do. You all live in that world where you're like, oh, yeah, this, you wanna hate so bad. But the thing is, with pro wrestling, like, like you don't even have to, like, I'm gonna stop for a second and get this thought out. You don't even have to like the wrestling itself, and there's still something for you if you're not a fucking piece of shit. If you like, if you like a uh, spectacle, like if you like entertainment, if you like 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 theatrics, uh, pyros, like fireworks going off and shit, like uh, good like promos and shit segments that like there's so much shit that I, I could put a list I, if I took a minute and put the list up together it was like maybe five five to ten things to show some jackass that's like oh this is this is fake and this, this is stupid like why you to be like well maybe if this was the first thing you've seen Instead of, like, some... Because, to be fair, wrestling does have its corny-ass share of, like, cornball fuckery, right? And that's okay. That's part of that's part of the business. It's not, ever, not everything's for everybody, and not everybody likes everything that it's on. But, like... And I'm the same way. There's been a lot of shit over the years that I've been like, What the fuck are y'all idiots doing? Like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. But at the same time... Those moments get talked about, good or bad, and that, and you got to look at it, you know, like that. But there's something for everybody, man. There, for there's drama. There's always some fucking storyline of like somebody, somebody and their baby mama or baby daddy. Not, not necessarily with the kids, but like. And if you go back and watch from, like, the Attitude Era and even before that, like, ECW and, I mean, there's so much. I, I could, yeah, the diatribe alone on that particular topic could last hours. But there's just so, so many different matches and, and moments and shit that, like, transcend time and space that for somebody to be, like, to just hate so much on it and not even and it, to be fair I, like a lot of like if your brain is trained like that and you're because i had to break free of that like slave mentality of like thinking for other people you know thinking about what other people want and you know and living a life of mediocrity and all that shit okay that got loud again anyway i'm gonna jump back into the match because if not, I'm going to sit here and go on this fucking 30-minute diatribe, and I can do that 
better any other time and set like I mean as much as I know about like pro wrestling like good almost 30 years worth of knowledge stowed in my skull it's not even the tip of the dick of everything that's out there and that's kind of an overwhelming thought because it's like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of content thousands of hours of content like all throughout the world from and from like 2015 maybe it was 2015 somewhere in there like 2013 14 i wasn't i started finding out about all this other stuff so i knew about like wcw and uh WWE, obviously, TNA, and, like, I'd seen some shit from Ring of Honor here and there, and, like, some YouTube matches, like, where I was at, like, in the social media era in, like, those years, um, I didn't really have access to a lot of stuff, and when I did, I didn't, I was busy watching the stuff that I knew about, because I didn't, like, know what to search for to find other stuff. I guess, and it was, um, I don't know, let's get this, I forgot we're in the Iron Man match, so I'm just like, throwing finishers down on this broad, alright, so we're one up on her, oh, she reversed my signature, no big deal, I'm gonna get her with a roll up. Oh, damn, she blocked two of my finishers in a row. All right. Let's step it up a little bit. Oh, I'm going to get her stunned before I do anything else. All right, now she's stunned. Now I'll hit this bitch with a falcon arrow. Huzzy! And then let's see if we can get another pinfall. One, two, three. All right. And then... I'm gonna let her get me with the. Yep, I'm gonna let her get me with the sharpshooter. So now it's two to one. We got four minutes and 53 seconds left in the Iron, Iron Woman match. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna let her get me this time. I'm gonna use resiliency. Maybe not the best move because she almost has a finisher again, but I'm just gonna stay on top with some strikes. Bop, bop. Get her in the corner. Bam! Enzigiri. Roll out of the ring. The skull smasher. Busting her head against the canvas three times. Oh my god. Alright. That, that might be enough for another cover, too. And it was. <laughs> Oh shit, ain't that something. Falcon Arrow! Bitch, that's what you get for blocking my fucking signature, ho. Alright. Damn, he like slid right up in her stuff, bro. Back up. Alright, so we're 4-1 on Natty. 345 left in the match. Just hit this bitch with a round kick. Oh, oh no! She just grabbed me by the pussy and threw me to the floor. Cause I was on the top rope, so she like grabbed me by the puss and the hair. Oh, 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 shit. Okay, so she got a fall on me, big deal, big deal. And now, this is the part of the match where I run away from her for the next three minutes. So she has no chance of catching up and winning the match. Where the hell is she going? She just jumped the barricade. Blair Davenport's getting the hell out of here tonight, y'all. Mm, maybe we'll go this way. Natalia chasing Blair Davenport through the crowd. But the thing is, we'll both get... It'll be a double count out, so I'll get one and she'll get one. So it'll be 5-3. <clears throat> at this 10 count, at least. Unless she's smart and she goes back to the ring. We'll see what happens there. But... I'm probably going to crack her skull. Oh, no, she, she's smart. She's going to try to go break the 10 count. Natalia doesn't want to take another uh, fall here this late in the match. Natalia is going to accept a count out for Blair Davenport.
Hey, what's up, Market Pro Actor? I'm sorry if I butchered the name. Fuck going on, baby? Appreciate you tuning in right now. All right, ho. I'm going to bust your head with this chair. For your guts. Okay. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have done that, huh? Because now it's 4-4. Four, four, now I really got to cut the cheese. All right. So that's fine because... She's getting a signature that she didn't get earlier, bitch. Huzzah! Knee to the face! Natalia is out. I should have hit her with the falcon arrow just to make sure. Maybe she gets up, maybe she doesn't. Oh, dude, if she doesn't... I have to get this count out win. I have to because... I may not have enough time to pin her. Hurry, count, 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 count. No, no. Oh, you are a fucking goober smoocher. All right, fine, 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 fine. All right. I shouldn't have done that with the chair, but it's fine. I got the falcon arrow. And that should put her away one more time. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're good. Everything's good. I was just fucking Jones in front of you. I knew, I knew I had it. I knew I had this shit. But I have fucked up before in the past where... I don't capitalize on the match. And I'm like, oh, I got it, I got it. And I get too cocky and I end up not gotten it. All right, and I'm going to go for it. I don't know. Maybe I'll run out of time before she gets back in the ring. Maybe not. But I'm going to try to get her with a roll-up. I'm going to, like, fucking... Crush her dreams right now with the roll up. Oh, damn. Oh, too slow. Still win the match though, so I'm not tripping. Damn, so I need a. Oh, I'm tweaking. I was reading that way wrong yesterday. I said I needed like 12 matches to win the weekly tower thing. I need 100. And 12. I'm nowhere near that fucking tower thing. Which is fine. I'm not in any rush to get there, but the fact that I misread it by 100 is like kind of blows my mind. Alright. So I'm gonna actually does he have yeah, I need to put some side plates on big, big old Batista here. And then he's going to pretty much run through Braun Breaker in this next match. That's the, um, that's the plan. That's the goal. That's what I'm going to try to jump in and just start firing off on him. Life doesn't always go to plan, so we're going to see what's up, baby. I should plug this shit in because I don't know how, if... Hold up. If we're it's gonna die soon, but I don't know. No, I was like on forty. Oh shit, I might jump online with you in a little bit, my friend. I'm trying to get through these um weekly towers that I'm behind on right now. Um but I'm on here a lot, so I'm definitely down to do that with you sometime, my friend. Alright, big Dave, baby. We're gonna, we're gonna ride through this dude. Howdy, howdy. I appreciate you joining in too, box. Alright, like I said, we're gonna fire off with some shots. We got him stunned in the corner here. Boom! Boom! Are you, uh, homeboy, you on PS5 or, uh, Xbox or what? Oh! Crash! 
crashing to the floor. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. There have been a couple people that's like, oh, I'm going to play, and then find out they have, they're on Xbox or PC, and it's like, fuck, man. I think some games are, I have a, like, cross play or whatever, but it's just seems to be the common denominator a lot of times. Zot! Big spine buster! Oh my god! Bronze head bounced off the bottom turnbuckle. He could be knocked unconscious here. I don't think Batista cares. He pulls him to his feet, going for the Batista bomb. And he's probably gonna kick out. Obviously, he can kick out because of the fucking resiliency. So I can't be, like, upset or mad because... I always forget about that sometimes, and I'm like, why did he kick out? And I start getting all, like, all... Like, no, dude. It's part of the fucking game. You got the resiliency, you expect that, you know what's gonna happen. And now I'm just gonna bitch him out with a rollout, or a roll-up, so... Womp, womp, womp. Joke's on you, buddy. You should've just taken that L, because now you're gonna look like a bitch. Oh, roll-up! One, two, three! Bitch. Oh. This fucking referee's trying to Jew me again. Cheeks first to the canvas. Nobody home. The tummy? Come on, Byron. They be fucking clowning. They be Byron's lines on this game. Fucking whack, bro. They fucking... I love Byron, bro. They, cl they clowning my boy Byron on here. Alright. Alright. You a big tough man, Mr. Breaker? How about I break your ass with a second Batista bomb? One, two. Oh, you kicked out again. Okay. Okay, so you playing hard dick today. I see you. All right, is that going to be the move that puts you down? The little flapjack here? Okay, that's fine. I know Mr. NXT champion, Mr. Big Strong Man. That's fine. I'll hit you with a third, a second spine buster and a third Batista bomb. I do not give a fuck, baby. Come on, come get this ass whooped. Let's go, baby. If she keeps getting in my way, she's gonna get smacked too, bro. I'm telling you. All right, let's see if I can pin him with the spine buster. Yo, fuck going on, baby. Oh. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Alright, six man tag. I'm gonna fly through this. Um, Argano. Longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. All right, here we go. And before we do that, obviously we're gonna put some side plates. Cause like I said, I need to start using these fucking things. It doesn't matter. It kind of does, I mean, but because I have so many of them, it doesn't matter in that sense. Cause I can always change them later if I decide. Ooh, hold up. Ooh, I gotta speak. Almost had a couple free agents. We gotta re sign some talent real fast. Because I have a lot of contracts that I haven't applied to the cards either. So I know I'm gonna. Eat. What's up, Oscar? What's going on, baby? Let's see. Oh, that's fine for now. Let me go back. I 
think sometimes like the like if someone's a striker or something, I'll put like the kick or the fat something like quick strike or whatever on there. Six-man tag. Get this out of the way. Oh, nice. Two good choices. I I love both of them. Brock's been one of my favorite for years. Especially when he like did his UFC stuff. I was a big fan of that stuff too. Taking on a couple clowns. No, I'm just kidding. Elias is a clown, but in a good way. Most like? Ooh, man, that's a tough one. Um, that answer changes a lot. Um, Jeff Hardy, maybe? Um, he's been definitely, like, one of the most influential on, like, my uh, personality and, like, kind of my lifestyle. Um... Sting, um, Scott Hall. I don't really have like one. I couldn't. If someone was like, name your most favorite ever or you're dead, like I'm dead. Because maybe Ric Flair, like maybe he's the all time. Because every time, like the more I think about it, the more like anybody that's in contention could be like, I don't know. That's a good question, man. But those, those for now, that are like the current ones. Right. And um, I don't know if you guys have watched the uh, Dark Side of the Ring and shit, but if that's interesting stories to follow too, if you're into like the, obviously the that type, type of shit. Um, Matt Bourne, the guy that played the Doink character, was a um, pretty wild dude. I have an episode on him and Chris Benoit, uh, tragedy, things that he did and all that shit. Actually, it, Chris Benoit is one of my favorites too, but you can't really, like, say that in 2023 without people being like, what about the people he murdered? I'm like, what murder? No, I know what murder. But, and... I don't want to go on, like, some fucking conspiracy diatribe, but watching, like, just from a, a fan's perspective, watching all the content from, like, Nitro. Oh, you don't like Reigns? Oh, man. That's... I like Reigns. Um, I kind of... I don't know. No, don't... don't no, don't take offense, man. We all... Like, I don't... Um, it's nothing... Like, we all have our stuff. You know, we all like what we like and stuff. I've just, um... I'm not a big fan of, like, what he's doing with the belts right now. Like, being a Jew and, like, holding them shits hostage. But, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, the shit with the the, the Bloodline story has been crazy shit. Like, like edge-of-the-seat television, in my opinion. For, like, all that shit. For, like, the whole time. And it... it and, and there's no telling where it's gonna like cap either, cause now with like Jimmy and Jay like going their separate ways and shit, like I, it's, it's like just when you think it's over, it felt like it's just getting started. So I feel like we're on a, a crazy ride. And I don't know if you know too about like the merger from like the, the owner of like. UFC and so I guess UFC and WWE merged I don't know much about that there's a lot I mean the internet does but I've just kind of been seeing like snippets of information about it alright I wasn't paying attention for a minute and we're already ready to like put that put a oh is this a Gargano escape can I tap him out right here 
Yeah. Oh, he had a resiliency. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. I'll hit him with the signature and throw him in the Gargano escape again and get this match over with real quick. Maybe. Actually, Harley Race, boom, with a shoulder tackle. So that plan backfired in my face. Damn it. Hold up, hold up. All right. Harley Race with a stiff left. Oh, taking camera grimes. Oh, grabs with a reversal. No, you're a noggy on an hourly race. My God, Cameron Grimes, he's 74 years old. No, I don't know how old he would be if he was actually in this match right now. Oh, dude, I love The Fiend, man. I'm so, I'm still so bummed out about him passing away, man. I'm, I've, that, like, ruined my week for a couple weeks. And, um... Kane was one of my favorites growing up back in the day. He used to hint, yeah, Undertaker was. Um, did you ever, if you ever watched TNA, um, Abyss, he was a pretty scary uh, character too back back in the day. There's, if you haven't watched like TNA or Ring of Honor or. Um, even AUW, like I, I strongly suggest like MLW too. Um, any wrestling you can find that like it's not WWE, I have a. You may not like all of it, and not all of it's gonna be for you because the same is for me. Like there's some stuff that's in like independent wrestling that's like, oh, this is really corny or this is whatever, whatever. But like for the most part, man, you you're gonna find something you love on any show between like the character work or like I don't know how you feel about death matches but I mean those are getting pretty popular too so what's alright he's probably he's gonna probably kick out do the resiliency thing because he has the thing too no actually got broken up okay all right, Cameron Grimes, you bastard. You want some more? Oh. Uh, let's get you again. Oh, all right. Longest reigning Intercontinental Champion, Gunther. Oh, Rey Mysterio. Yes, he's a good one too, man. I have, I, um, if you're new to the channel, you may not have seen it, but, um, I have a Rey Mysterio mask that I wear sometimes on my, uh, when I go live on Twitch and stuff. It, it's, that's awesome. Man, he's still doing it too, man. He's been around forever. And I love that, man. I love the longevity. Not everybody gets to have that, you know. I love to see it when it happens. You know? Oh, I like John Cena. Um, to be honest with you, when he was like the Doctor Thugonomics, like back in like whatever, two thousand three and four era, whatever that was, that was when I was like the biggest fan of him because I was at that time I thought I also was a rapper and I thought I was gonna be a be a rapper and things like that. So I was like really looking up to John Cena and his his, uh, his rap battles were always funny and shit like that but for a, for a little bit like he got in my opinion got like I just got got bored like with him having the belt all the time it seemed like every time I turned on the TV he had the belt and I was just like man this kind of sucks nobody ever could beat him and then like he went away and did his movies and shit and he came back and then I was like, okay, like now he's, he kind of did like the rock thing where he's like kind of giving back now. And it's pretty cool to see that. Like watch his like whole career kind of come and go. Not really go cause he's still doing it. But... Oh, thank you Gargano because I, I'm not paying, I'm not in full force. Damn, I 
I'll appreciate it, man. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, do the return the favor, my friend. All right, ho. How? How do you get through my boots like that? It's not that. Yep. Second too late, Mr. Gargano. What I need to do is just, I guess, take these two dudes out with him. And let Mr. Intercontinental Champion do his work in the ring and everything is going to be okay. The Great Muda, he's one of my favorites too. I've always loved... Oh, you're from Croatia? That's awesome, man. That's really cool. I've never been outside of the United States, unfortunately. Oh! Alright, we're gonna put these clowns away. What do we got here? Got him by the cock. No, reversal. All right. I gotta get my focus right because I am not. This ain't working. Harley Race grabbing Elias by his skull. Damn. Um. So I'm trying to be. Uh, the very, the sh the fucking, the diaper of the country, the shit of the, the South Pan, if you will, very bottom part of, of the East, Flo Rida, baby. Alright, I'm kind of getting, oh, interesting. my friend. Enjoy your day. Yeah, my bad. I need to get my shit right so we can get this match. Boy, you better get your ass off me, ho. Za, za, za. Damn it, bro. Can't get the. We're gonna, it's all right. No big deal. No big deal. Oh, guess it's a big deal if you miss every fucking move. Whoa! Not done. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Fuck. How could you not block one guy, bro? Just give me a second. Oh, I got it. Alright, now we're gonna get the Gargano escape. On this fucking Custer. And that's it. Boom. End of the match. 
fuckers. You fucking trying to play with me, goddammit. I do not. I probably should learn. I probably should stop being like a one language fucking being and transcend that some more. Oh, oh, sad little update. So when I, I was trying to post some stuff about the master key. Do ba do do shit do barden. I probably butchered the fuck out of that. Goddamn. <coughs> Apparently that's how you say hi in Croatian. I don't know. That's cool though. I like learning new stuff. I appreciate that, my friend. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a bunch of tag matches. Why is there all these fucking tag matches? Not a big deal. We got Perk Angel and Brock Lesnar in the first tag match. This one's going to be fun, actually. Um, let's go over here and see what card we got in the Superstar Series pack from the thing we were doing earlier. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'll practice. It'll go... Uh, I'm gonna download one of those apps where I can like learn in real time. Um, so that pack we got from the um, Proving Grounds that we finished, I think it was. Zilch. I got a Trish, a silver Trish Status Manager card that I don't even know what the fuck to do with. And then like uh, 300 something. MF points because I had the other cards at it already. Again, no big deal. It did it to me twice. Not a single thing I got out of that collector's pack or out of that pack at all. Nothing, nothing. Just like 25 coins. I just need two cards to get a Ruby Seth Rollins. Hmm, interesting. See if I have enough to make that happen right now. With one. I bought a Superstar Series one card pack just to see maybe. Alright, big reveal. Uh, well, got one card. I just need one more and I'll have a Ruby. The Ruby Seth Rollins. Collector Bay. Yeah, we've been on here for a minute, so. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I need to do some of those, but I don't want to do that right now. I think I'm probably going to call it on this. Mm -hmm. I'll. I'll. Mm -hmm. Not yet. I'll do a couple more matches, I think. I'm gonna um, reunite the Wyatt family here to take on Perk Angel and Brock Lesnar. That shit still, like, I can't believe it. But, adios, my friend. But where there is light, there, you know, I, one day, I've already, like, I already know this. It's like, I already planted the seed for it, and one day, I'm gonna. I'm going to do something close to what Wyatt. I, I'll never be on the level of Bray Wyatt. I know that. I'll never. Um, but as far as like. Putting something together that I know he would be proud of. And like. Bringing that to life in the ring. I'm definitely going to do that. And the, I don't know exactly what or how. 
I'm gonna try to find a way to convince them to let me use some of his old elements, if possible, or like incorporate some of his elements in into my character. Cause I really don't know how any of that's gonna go. That's gonna that's gonna be a whole situation in itself. All right, I already fucking up. Old Perk Angel got Braun Strowman in a chokehold. Here comes Wyatt. Damn, I wish they had um, the Fiend card on, on here. I have on 2020, but... Damn, Perk Angel is putting the boots to Strowman right now. Go outside. Wyatt Lesnar throwing paws at each other outside. Brock Lesnar's not someone you want to get in a striking match with. But Lesnar getting the up, or excuse me, the Wyatt the upper hand. Oh my god, with the headbutt taking Lesnar to the ground. Lesnar looks a little bit confused, a little dazed after that vicious bridge of the nose busting of by Bray Wyatt. Damn, alright, I gotta put my boots to Perk Angel now. Look out. Z-O! I'm not finished with you! But she used to crack me up when fucking Strowman used to come out. That was his little catchphrase or whatever. And they get these hands. It, maybe it's me. Maybe because I'm like autistic and shit, whatever. It's, I laugh at shit I shouldn't be laughing at. It's not always a, like a good thing. Um, and that particular instance, like, you know, Strowman's supposed to be like, oh, big and tough and strong. He comes out, oh, I'm not finished with you. <sighs> and I could, like, if I'm standing across the ring for y'all better not have the hard cam on me because I'm gonna be trying not to crack my shit I'm gonna be trying not to laugh I know this dude's big and intimidating six seven foot tall whatever strong as fuck but that, you're funny bro like you're being funny and you're making me laugh I, I'm sorry like, I, don't, <laughs> I guess you know I've always been enthralled by the entertainment side of it Alright, Perk Angel trying some shit, get my arms yellow. Put me in some choke holes and shit. So what we're gonna do is we're just No, we're not done with you yet, baby. Wyatt, he's gotta get his taste. I'll just go ahead and put you on the mat for the one time. Is odd, but okay. I'm not finished with you. Don't you even think about it, oh. He's trying to take me, he's trying to take Wyatt off because I that's what I did to his partner. Boy, I'm on my shit. You don't even you don't even want to try that with me, big dog. But since you wanna you know, you want the fiend so bad. Be careful what you ask for, Perk Angel. Okay. Oh my god. The fingers in the gullet of Lesnar. Oh, are you serious? No, no, get your no, 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 Perk Angel. Oh, I had butt to the back of the skull. No, probably not, but still exuberates energy when you have to kick out. Is that gonna be enough with the inside out clothesline? Knocking Lesnar to the moon. Sure, that was it. 
Sister Abigail. Bray Wyatt locking eyes with Perk Angel. Oh no, this is no good. He drops an angle on that stack of dimes he calls a neck. And he's got Lesnar with the mandible claw. No. Lesnar's out. One. Two. No. Lesnar kicked out. With the dick in the booty pin, why doesn't even get the one fall on Lesnar. Going after Perk Angel again with the vicious right hand. Oh, oh. Oh my god, a splash by Wyatt off the rope. Oh, crossbody. Lesnar with the reverse. Oh, Strowman's not going to take that line down. Oh. Byron, shut your ass up, hoe. Come on, Park Angel, come get you some blood. Ah, oh, you're a noggy. Oh, a kick to the spine. Monkey flip on Wyatt. Wyatt's back to his feet. Perk Angel doesn't want no part of Bray Wyatt. Oh my god. Hold up. Hold up. I said hold up, bitch. Hey, hey. Snatching Perk Angel by his bald head and slamming him to the back with a vicious spike right to the spine. You call out a stack of dimes and a neck, Sister Abigail. That's it for Perk Angel. Brock Lesnar. Oh my god. Again, Sister Abigail. God damn you, Kurt Angle. Alright. No, nah, come get this fucking lick. You want you want to be so hard? Come get this lick, bitch. All right. Show some mercy for him. Flashback. Take out the dog. I think it stopped raining. I had to take the dog out pretty soon. What time is it? Yeah, I need to take her out. I need to be this very second. I can do a couple more matches, but I'm uh, definitely have to though. I'm such a tornado card. Yeah, so we'll, I'll be Blair and have Eve as my partner. Run through this match, 
and I think that'll give me a sec. And yeah, I'll take that second to go. Take a dog. I wish I could switch back and forth between him and a tornado, but it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Is Blair Davenport ready for Oscar? We're going to find out here tonight. It looks like she is. She just knocked Blair, or excuse me, Blair knocked Oscar right on her ass with a forearm to the face and a second one. Oh, Shotzi with a beautiful knee to the face. Blair Davenport fighting back. Hurricane Rana. Bitch slapping Shotzi all the way to the moon. Blair Davenport. Uh oh, follows up with. Knee to the face. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, <laughs> she did have to use her resiliency to get that move, so good for her. Kick out, kick out, kick out. All right, let me get her with this. Maybe. Oh, damn, she. Oscar's right there. All right, bitch. Oh, kick to the gut and a stomp to the back of the head. She's going for the pin on Asuka. One. Asuka grabs the ropes. Great ring awareness by... Damn, I couldn't think of her uh, nickname at that moment in time. That's the sad thing about, like, if I get into play by play, I have to be on my shit every second. Like, I can't miss a beat, because that shit's going to embarrass the fuck out of me, for one. And two, like, I want to fuck up. Like, no reason to fuck up, you know? So, like, Eve, back up, ho. This is on me. I got this. All right, you want to pin her? You want the glory so bad? You glory hog? Get her. I'll go ahead and get the little increments up a little bit more. And then I'll just hit this bitch with a roll-up. And maybe that'll be the end of the match. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> Surprise. Those roll-ups in this game are fucking amazing. I th to my current, like, recollection, I am pretty sure this is the only game that you can act. You can do roll-ups in other games, but this is the only game where, like, you can actually hit one at the right time, throw your opponent off, and fucking the match is over. Or, like, you beat them down just like I did right there. She was beat down real good. She got in the ring. And the first thing I did is I snatched her up, rolled her up, boom. And we were done. Look at that. Actually... Uncle Howdy's gonna come out to play this time. I am not 
what shoes I'm gonna wear because I don't wanna get any of shoes. <sighs> mm. Third world struggles. Alright. Damn, so I guess I'm gonna have to do the beat down all by myself because I'm cloudy. He's getting his ass beat. Uncle Howdy snatching MVP by the skull and a vicious spike to the spine. The reverse of the Waller. Uncle Howdy's on fire. I should have just stayed Uncle Howdy and. But sometimes my strategy doesn't fully follow through the way I see it in my head, and that was one of those times. It's like, oh, this character will whoop this dude's ass, and I'll whoop this dude's ass outside. We'll get through real quick. It's fine. Throw it thrust. Howdy, howdy. Fuck out of here, ho. Oh, reversal. Sister Abigail. That's not gonna be enough. One, two, three. Oh, he didn't even see the rope break. That's funny. Actually had to kick out. It's hilarious. Oh, I took my signature away too, you bastard. Bastard, bastard. My least favorite. Ooh, that's a good one. Um. Oh yikes! One second. One second. One second. Um. Oh, this matches gonna be over oh no wait one second one second my least favorite wrestler damn um maybe i don't know I'll, i don't know why disco inferno came to my mind because he's actually like a good character in the grand scheme of things but maybe let me think about that for a second because that's let me ask that I don't think. Um, least favorite. Who did I hate a lot? Hmm. Oh, Simon Dean. That dude was fucking ass. I don't know if you remember him. Uh, he was like this Richard Simmons fucking fitness mogul that come out on this damn mall security guard scooter thing and. That's probably... I'll have to think about it some more, but he's definitely... Oh, that's it. Sister Abigail. Now get... There we go. Now get... Count, you fucking clown! Damn. 
referees like trying to dick around, worried about me in the ring. No, worry about the pinfall. I'm gonna. Getting... When you know, you know. And sometimes you just know, and that's the truth. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this tower and then I'm gonna call it um because I have two more weeks to do and I'm gonna do those as separate videos like I said I, a few minutes ago I do need to take the dog out and um kind of reset myself I guess and it's already oh shit it's already like five something so I don't want to I've got other games to get to today. I do apologize if it's... He's not going to take none of that. Oh, firing off on the hitman. Nathan Frazier following up with a beautiful running senton. Oh, super kick. Down goes Ziggler. Oh, speaking of Ziggler, man, they released him today. WWE, WWE released Dolph Ziggler today. And that's just crazy, man, because he's been in there for like 20 years. Could have been 20 years? Close to it. If not 20, damn near close to it. But it's not, it's, uh, I'm seeing the silver lining in this. Like, his brother works for AEW. And how cool would that be to see fucking. Uh, Dolph and Nick uh, team up and like win tag titles like together as like real brothers. Like, that'd be a real big moment. You know? It's it sucks when anybody loses their job, you know. Except for people that deserve it. Like if you deserve to get fired and stuff like that, but none of them, nobody that was released today. Or, you know, when they do these cuts and shit, I don't think it should. You know, it's not my ball to play, but... we got to do better, y'all. But, and again, like, a lot of people, it depends on how they take it themselves, because I've seen it with, like, people that... Just because I've watched wrestling so much in my life, and I've seen like these people, and they're not just like they're real people, so they go through shit, you know, the emotions and like getting fired from your dream job. And then some, some of them, they go down this path of like, damn, like this sucks, and like the darkness, and they just it can definitely could make a better life for themselves than they do. But they're just more focused about like why they got released instead of like trying to get better. And on the other side of the coin, like Matt Cardona, he's a prime example of this. He he got released whenever it was, and he's one of the most popular wrestlers on the planet, in my opinion. Because I mean, he's like hitting all the scenes and the all the indie stuff. And, and he, winning all the belts and I think he recently won like the NWA belt, EC3, pretty. Like, it, it's crazy too to, to know that I'm going to be like working with all these guys one day somehow, somewhere. And it's just like, because uh, this, re uh, Dolph getting released could be one of the like best things to happen to him. 
because he does like comedy stuff on the side too so maybe you know maybe he wants to he jumps into that full time like I said earlier too with like the AEW thing he could tag with his brother like his real life brother and like maybe win tag gold like you know that would be a moment that I'm sure if I had like someone like that in my family I would that I was like close to and stuff like that I would want to win the tag gold with them you know Exactly what I was aiming at, but Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. choice now boy is to run. Oh bitch. win by count out. Oh, reversal. Oh, no, 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 no. Sister Abigail! Damn it, why couldn't you switch to Sammy? myself for the outside world. <sighs> have one more match before we go out there, but I'm going to fly through that one too. Dream Rolls. Oh, dude, this one's gonna be fun, actually. So, I wonder if we. Take a wild guess at who you think I'm gonna be for this hardcore match. You guessed Rob Van Dam. Do you were correct, my boy? Yes, sir. We're gonna. Oh, yeah. The blue, the sapphire blue, crit blue, Rob Van Dam. Put a couple side plates on them. And 
trying to see if I have that one is good and since he's a striker I'm gonna take heavy hand here. So it's against I already forgot who I'm going against in this thing. Uh Tony D'Angelo and Veer Mahan. Yikes. So I am going to let you guys uh, do your thing. Extreme rules would be the easiest match for me to prepare for. Just go in there and beat the shit out of people with the kendo stick. Whatever I get my hands on. Alright. Just slow it down a little bit. Fear Mahan ran through RVD like a bull in a china shop. Boy, are you dumb? fucking five star you off that ladder if you want to set it up you want to get your ass kicked fine bud set it up you brought it in here do something with it bud Whew. Veer Mahan almost took Van Damme's head off with that baseball bat that was a, he swung that bitch boy Van Damme no, 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 not on the floor. No. Rolling Thunder on Veer Mahan. Oh, my God. It's... No, no, don't do it, Van Damme. From the top rope. Oh, my God. Nobody gets as high as Rob Van Damme coming off the top rope. Oh, Spine first to the ground. Nobody home. Oh, reversal. D'Angelo getting folded up like an Italian sandwich. Oh, Veermahan with the vicious forearm. Van down with the strike of his own. A chair taking D'Angelo down. Yes! Van Daminator! Is that gonna be enough? Oh. That was sick. I'm gonna do that again if I can. Oh. Hey, you big bastard. 
I got enough five you. Don't worry. Van Dam rolling thunder. On Veer Mahan. Going for the pin. One. Did you see how he waited to start the count? Like, that was so fucking Jewish, bro. Stop doing that shit. Zink! Van Dam and Andrew again! Oh. Oh, oh, look out. Oh, that was it. Alright, so pin me so I can get up. No? That was sus. I did not mean to do that. Uh, that was... I don't know. Never did that again. No! Oh, what the fuck was that? No, kick out, kick out, kick out. Ran down with the roll up of his own. Nobody home. I know it, accept it, acknowledge it, and move forward. Damn it. Oh no! Okay. That was not. <sighs> I had it, man. I got that was one of those situations where I just got too happy and I just stopped paying attention. I was like, oh, I got it. card out this time. Let y'all do your thing. They're singing his song right now. They're doing the whole uh, thing right now. That's that's awesome. I don't know if that's a new update or if that's always been like that. Gary on Tony D'Angelo. I suppose it's true. Bam! Forearm to the back of the skull.
Kick out. Kick out, buddy. Kick out. Oh, a baseball bat to the skull, Tony D'Angelo. See, now I'm doing it right this time. I let them beat the fuck out of each other. And then when I'm ready, I sneak in and take the win. I didn't have to sneak in. I just run in and bust their heads with steps or something. Like... You gonna no sell the stair shot? That's very carny of you, bud. Count. He always fucking man. I guess because the referee, I guess the re the I AI ref knows that the match isn't gonna end right there anyway, so it's like let's add some drama, right? Shot to the gut by Tony D'Angelo taking Rollins off his feet with the sledgehammer. Seth Rollins. I don't know what he went for there. Insiguri taking Tony D'Angelo down. Seth Rollins, roll up. One, two, three. Four. Fucking slow count, ass dickhead. All right, Veer Mahan's on the ladder. Seth Rollins. Oh no, don't do it, Seth. No. Oh my. Joey Styles' voice. Oh my God. Roll up, Tony D'Angelo. One. Two. Damn near fall. So dumbass off me. I don't know what you think this is. Oh, Veer Mahan with a guttural shot with the sledgehammer. Seth Rollins roll up to Veer Mahan. Referee not in position again. Costing Seth the victory. Double team by Veer and Tony D'Angelo who suplex on Rollins. Oh, you dick sucker. All right. Alive. All right, let's get this shit going. Let's go. Z. Oh, too slow. Oh my God, Seth dumped on the chair. Get him. Oh, 
Oh, damn, I fucked up. Get your dumb ass up. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Come get this fool, bud. Okay. Yeah, it's too late in the match for me to, like, try to fight off this submission. Oh, shit. Or a sledgehammer. Fuck. Rollins with the roll up. A roll up again. Somebody's gonna fucking go down soon. Oh, damn it. He's hitting with the chair. Watch out. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Two seconds. Two off. I was off. I was off. Not even a one count. Get the fuck off me, ho. This ain't over yet. Damn it. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> you bastard, I told you. The fucking roll up. And they're least expecting it. I love that too. Boom, boom, boom. Sequence, sequence, sequence. Finisher. And then I sneak in, roll up. Seal the match. It's over. I am a revolutionary. I am a visionary. Just, oh my god, what's with all these tag matches? Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to jump into this one because, like I said, I'm going to do week 30 and week 31 as separate videos. I just wanted to see what week 30 has to offer. Match the first match is a six woman elimination tag, which is it's whatever, but we've been doing a bunch of tags, tag team matches, and then one on one against the Undertaker, and then a fatal four way, and then a fatal four way table. That one's gonna be tough, and a TLC tag. But stay tuned. Um, maybe. I'm always wrong with my time. When I'm like, oh, I'm going to be on this. It's going to happen at this time. It's going to happen at this time. It never does. I'm kind of just going to go with with the wind here. Uh, I need to take the dog out. So I'm going to do that. Um, Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to be back in a little bit. I don't know what the fuck. I don't think I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be playing that new PlayStation Plus game. Well, let's see what you got. Five me. It's probably stuff I already saw. We might play that unpacking game a little bit too. Um, and I'm gonna leave this running. So if you need a break, take a break. Quick interlude. I'm going to be back functionality in about 20 minutes. Uh, um, actually, I'm going to start a new video and let that one go because I want a different light scheme in the room. So I have, in order to do that, I have to stop the video. So 